So, that now, so now we're gonna try to install the final operating system. And, and of course some kid outside is messing with his jet ski or whatever. So, you'll be able to see that when I hit this button. Yes, I just decided to install a temporary copy of Mac OS X Panther on this computer. So, that now, so now we're going to try to install the final operating system, which is... What is this? Maxwell CD-ROM... 80 minutes and 700 megabytes. Oh, this is just a CD for uh, Mac OS X server that I never labeled. Alright, so let's just put this in drive. The thing about this is that while this computer does have an eject button on the computer, I can just press this button and the drive will open. And of course, some kid outside is messing with his jet ski or whatever. Okay. Now we should be able to. Uh, okay, then. Mac OS X server installed disk one. Oh, yeah, I learned that the mouse is also a little bit wonky, which was apparent right when I installed the operating system. Now. If we inst now if we click this, as I was saying, we can click here and it comes up with this prompt that has one button install, which will restart your computer and try to restart off of the disk. However, I tried doing this and uh, I'll just let you see for yourself. Yep, it just reboots straight into the operating system anyways. However, if we go back in to all the folders and stuff, you can see it does still give you another option though, which we can try. It says, and I quote, If you want to upgrade a computer from Mac OS X to Mac OS X server, please quit the, in the Mac OS X... No. Please quit, insert the Mac OS X server install disk 2, and open Mac OS X ser server install the MKG. So, command Q, eject. Press the eject button again. And here we go, Mac OS X server install disk 2. So let's see how this goes. Welcome to the Mac OS X server installer. Now hopefully I can install this and I won't break my computer. So we click continue here with my incredibly wonky mouse and we're allowed to continue the installer. Um, There we go, Macintosh HD. Continue. And of course, me being me, I can't just install the essentials. Alright, let's install. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't have the password. There we go. Now let's continue to install this.
Well, I didn't think uh, Mac OS had to optimize itself, so we can close and we restart. Uh, I assume it wants us to restart or something. Reset. Come on. That didn't do anything. Okay, then. There we go. I got the computer to restart. And now, hopefully, we're actually in Mac OS X server. There we go. We got an Apple logo. I'm going to tilt the screen up just so you can see it better. That spinning wheel. That was the sound of my amazing keychain. Oh, yeah! There we go. Mac OS X server. Yeah, of course, we got a pinwheel here. See that? The cl the classic version of the pinwheel of death. That isn't actually the pinwheel of death. It's just a busy sign. You know, like the uh, the hourglass or the spinning thing on Windows. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if people know that. Uh, this, this is just a busy icon. So, optimized performance. But did it really? Because it seems to be taking longer. Oh, okay then. Here we go. Now that does not look like what I set up Panther. It's uh, all gray now. So that's when it was loading. Of course, not the intro video. Of course. Use English to administer this server. Although I'm pretty sure really the only the only the latest server Apple made is uh the 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 latest version that they made was I believe the X serve it was which was forever ago. I don't have a serial number. I'm gonna type in some random garbage. Okay, I think I got it. This is very much a serial number. Okay, time to dig up my product key. I'm pretty sure all Windows users would know what that is. All right, well, I managed to find a, uh, a serial key that actually worked. So now we're just gonna enter a password. And hopefully, we should be into the operating system. Yeah. C continue, can I do that? Instead of having to fly my mouse around the screen. I swear I need a new mouse for this computer already, and it hasn't even been ha hasn't even been three days since I've got this mouse. Poor mouse is actually kind of piece of junk. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say that I think it's actually good crap. All right, I'm not even gonna bother with this. Just continue. I don't want to connect. Set directory usage to. Yeah, I'd like a standalone server. Let's just install all of these file services. I mean, I have learned not to just install everything and type in a bunch of random information. So, I guess I officially know a thing or two about servers. Maybe. Use a network time server. We're not going to do that because this computer probably won't even be able to connect anyways. Today is the 7th. Alright. Save. Apply. So now it's configuring a server that I probably won't be able to use anyways, but this could lead to some Windows and Mac OS 10 server 
experiments I could do on life in the tech house. But I think that I'll probably have to wait until season two. One, one, one moment, please. I think it's been more than one moment. So, I sh okay there. So, it wants us to restart the computer. And hopefully we don't have to go through that entire adventure again. Probably be best if I took the disc out. And the eject key doesn't work, so I have to push the drive in. There we go, Apple logo. I'm surprised how well this uh, actually worked and how seamlessly it transitioned from client to server. If that's even a way you can put it. And there we go, it's still Mac OS X server, so. Okay then, so. Should be able to enter the password and log in. Uh, enter. I don't know why this isn't. Oh, there we go. Now it works. I must have had one single character wrong in the password. Well, that dock looks different than it did before. So now instead of having any like consumer apps or whatever, we now have. Uh, server admin, workgroup manager, server monitor, and of course, terminal. Which I could probably use to break this entire computer, but I don't really want to do that. And as you can see, this is also the default background. It just cha it just uh, uses the graphite version of the desktop background for Panther. I believe it does the same with that. It do does that same thing with all the other versions prior to Leopard server. Of course, if I could get my mouse to work, that'd be nice. Okay, now it works. So yeah, Mac OS 10 server, te version 10.3. It seems to have worked. So that should hopefully end the Power Mac G4 adventures for a bit. I mean, maybe I could even mess around with this and Windows Server in the future. But, for now, thank you for watching this uh, episode of Life in the Tech House, which was very simple. And I will see you.